Mm okay. Oddly enough, I've been asked this uh, exact same question by more than a few people. And they're either switching from Canon or whatever, or they're upgrading from whatever to whatever, and they have a $3,000 budget um, for the purchase of a full-frame camera and a few lenses. And let's assume they have no lenses or switching from a different system. What, you know, having owned and used all the lenses the past 30 years, and uh, owned most every Nikon DSLR, um, what, within that $3,000 budget, would you recommend as far as a camera, DSLR, and lens purchase? And one thing that's left out is you got to include a speed light. You just do. And the best speed light for the money, you're talking about $220. Um, meant to use, like new, is an Icon SP800. It's actually the one speed light that all the pros collect. You don't need a 900 or a 910. Actually, 800 uh, has a higher uh, output than the 910 does. It's a lot more simple. It's not an extremely complex computer. Really, nobody needs that on a speed light. Uh, all the important features are present on the 800 as they are on the 900 and the 910. A lot of the uh, the D-bag features, <laughs> the D-bag features that Nikon added, because every company works off of innovator dial. It. It's like, let's see what sort of BS features could we add that no one ever uses, but will impress the gearheads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they all do that, and uh, you just don't need them. You, you just don't. So there's really nothing there on the 910, and I've got the 910s. This is the best one to purchase, so that's talking about $210, $220 that I used on eBay. So if I had a $3,000 budget and I were to buy a, a Nikon uh, full-frame camera, um, best value for the budget, that and some lenses that are just going to make me happy, happy, just happy as a, a, a pig rolling around uh, in mud. Or, uh, or happy as uh, Paris Hilton in a, a gold jewelry store. <laughs> Whatever. Um, the answer is an Nikon D750. I have right here. And uh, current gray mark on the Nikon D750, it's not including the vertical battery grip, is $1,500. Uh, unquestionably top value for full frame purchase, 24 megapixel, uh, has great buffer. Um, the low light resolving power is absolutely phenomenal. It blows the hell out of every other, every other Nikon if you're going to be uh, someone that shoots a lot of low light stuff. They ought to call this the low light winner, or the, uh, or, uh, they ought to call it the, uh, the owl camera because, you know, owls can basically see in near pitch black. It ought to be called the D750 owl or something like that. Of course, Nikon would ever name their stuff that. Um, in no particular order, um, uh, would be, this is the, Swiss Army Knife of Lenses, Nikkor, 60mm AFD series, not the G series. Um, $220 used. It's a perfect normal lens, best reproduction lens is a macro lens, although it is a bit short for macro lens, it's not super short. In macro, every millimeter counts because uh, the shorter the macro lens, the more you have to shove it up the fanny of whatever it is you're shooting, and that makes the lighting an issue. But this is a perfect quad purpose, multi use, normal lens. Um, and replacement of a 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 60 millimeter, big deal. Um, absolutely exquisite. I own a couple of these, and oddly enough, I wish I had a third one. Hell, I have no idea why. <laughs> um, next lens would be the VRG version, not because it has vibration reduction, but because it's superior optically. It has just got uh, insanely fast autofocus. Uh, typical use price on it is about 300, 320 dollars used, minty new on eBay. Um, it's absolutely exquisite. It's very lightweight, perfect uh, travel telephoto lens. Uh, it, it's just an incredible lens. Uh, that's the 70 to 300 VRG Nikkor. And uh, I'll look at another telephoto here. This within the uh, all within the $3,000 budget we're talking about, which is including everything here, not over here, but everything here. So we've got four lenses. I'll get to the fourth one here. So the third lens, and that is the tank, the Goliath, the beast, the. Uh, Low element count for a telephoto, it is 80 to 208 D series. That's AFD Nikkor. This lens has existed in many different versions. It doesn't have the fastest autofocus in the world, but who cares? Unless you're a sports or event photographer, you don't need it. Most people aren't. Um, $1,200 new, although I'd uh, buy it. Uh, there, there are a lot of these out there. Most of them come from Japan. 600 plus, uh, meant to used, like new. So that's the third lens. We included the speed light. You can't get by without a speed light. You can't like, I've got a $3,000 budget and I want to buy a camera and then some lenses. You just can't do that without including a speed light. So we got to drop in the $200 speed light there. Um, fourth and final lens, the 2485 uh, VRG. 
Uh, typically $200 and $220 meant to use on eBay. Um, best mid-range zoom and Nikon sharpest mid-range zoom. Best value for the money. Um, incredible lens. Just flat out $200. Nothing beats it. There is nothing that comes close to this for the value, for the sharpness. Incredible lens. Used to be a kit lens that came with the Nikon D600. So right here, we are looking at $3,000. Plus or minus $100 depending on how cheaply you snag it. Now there is another option. This would make anybody happy and if this is all I had, I mean I could basically do everything. Um, I am missing a wide a wide prime and a wide zoom here. Now my personal choice, if uh, if I only had three thousand dollars, is that would make a substitution and this is an equally valid choice and it is a toss-up call as to which would make me happier. I would replace an Icon D750 with an older camera that is made in Japan, it's heavier, it has unique image production, it's $700 cheaper, it's an Icon D700. Um, it's extremely heavy, extremely well built, I'm not saying the Icon D750 isn't, but I would remove the D750 and this lens, an Icon 7300 VRG. Um, even though I have a nice telephoto here, it's too, it's obviously too heavy to be packing around everywhere, but my personal choice is the $3,000 range. I've gone from $1,500 to $700 here, and then I removed an additional $300. So it's left me with another $1,000 worth of play. And what I would do is I would replace these two, as far as the $1,000 taken away difference between these two and the Nikon D700. And I would introduce this, the Tamron 15 to 30 2.8, um, with vibration reduction, or as I call it, BC vibration control. And this would be my $3,000 package. Uh, I think that I had a very slight hair over what I just showed you at first there. This would, un that would unquestionably be my choice. It's unfortunate there's only one prime lens here. And uh, it's unfortunate I can't include this lens, but I would include it later when I, you know, save it up another $300. But it is answering the question, if I only had $3,000, this would be my my uh, haired out choice over the D750 and uh, well it is a 12 megapixel camera I think well how could you choose such an old camera this camera was three thousand dollars when it came out it's awesome it's incredible it produces images like no other it's made like a tank uh, does it have the buffer that the Nikon D750 has no is it a very very da very damn heavy yeah it sure is um, it, it is just one tank of a camera do I prefer it over the D750 Yes and no. No and yes. Uh, the image production is unique and it's special and uh, in that fact I absolutely love it and I own a couple of them. So this would be actually my choice for $3,000. But if you're a technophile you need faster buffer. Like I said this does not have anywhere near the high ISO performance of the Nikon D750. So the D750 if you need that uh, a faster buffer and you need uh, that 24 megapixels and uh, you need the better high ISO performance then it would be unquestionably so this package right here that would be the uh, Nikon D750 with the 24 to 85 VRG the 60 millimeter D and uh, the 80 to 200 to 2.8 D and the 70 to 300 VRG uh, insanely fast autofocus just an incredible lens sharp as hell and you can't get by without a speed light. What are you going to do with that speed light? Are you going to think you're going to do anything with a pop-up flash? You ain't. Uh, okay, so you need to get at least the Nikon SB800. So right here we are looking without the vertical grip at a $3,000 package. And it would make anybody very happy. And it would be a very wise choice. Uh, given my experience uh, with all the Nikon DSLRs and all of their lenses. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a buck or two, or tell me to go jump off a cliff. And uh, <laughs> let me know what other videos you'd like me to make. And I'm going to drink some more coffee. <laughs> Thank you for watching.